He is most notable for being Kenya's longest serving vice president, a mathematician, an economist, and a significant figure in the Kanu body politics. In tonight's edition of the cabinet, we feature Professor, the late Professor George Saitoti, who also served at the World Bank as well as the International Monetary Fund. Born in Olulua village in Gongtown, 1945, George Saitoti would become one of the most notable leaders serving under President Daniel Arab Moy. Saitoti's political star began to shine in October 1983 when President Moy nominated him to the National Assembly, subsequently getting appointed to serve as cabinet minister in the finance docket previously held by Moy Kibaki, who was relegated to the Ministry of Home Affairs. Saitoti hit another political milestone five years later in 1988 when Philip Odopi, incumbent Kajada North Member of Parliament, was prevailed upon not to seek re-election, giving path for Saitoti to be elected as the new Member of Parliament. He would recapture the seat in 1992, 1997, 2002 and 2007. Following the 1988 elections, Josephat Karanja was appointed Vice President to replace Mwai Kibaki. However, Karanja was thrown out of office owing to allegations of intent to overthrow Moi's regime, paving the way for the appointment of George Saitoti as vice president in 1989. He would remain the country's second in command until December 1997. Once again, Saitoti was reappointed as vice president in April 1999 after Moi bowed to pressure to appoint a VP to avoid the possibility of a constitutional crisis. Moi had held off picking a VP after the 1997 general election. Saitoti's tribulations would continue in 2002, 18th March, during a Kanu National Delegates Conference in Kasarani, where the party voted to allow for a merger with Raila Odinga's National Development Party, NDP, creating four new vice chairman positions and watering down Saitoti's hopes of succeeding Moi. George Saitoti, intent on leading the country, announced his interest in vying for the presidency, a decision that got him fired as vice president for spearheading a mutiny in the cabinet. When Moy declared Uhuru Kenyatta as his successor, the marriage between Kanu and NDP was dissolved, with NDP leader Raila Odinga, along with Saitoti, leaving to form the Rainbow Alliance, later the Liberal Democratic Party LDP. <laughs> Baina ya moja hapo ya pile viti nne. Na ninajua wengi zaidi mulitaka nisimami. Sindiyo? Goja, they come a time. They come a time when the nation is more important than an individual. LDP would later march with the Moi Kibaki-led National Alliance of Kenya to give birth the memorable National Rainbow Coalition, NARC. Moi Kibaki would go on to win the 2002 presidential elections, appointing George Saitoti as Minister for Education in charge of implementing NARC through primary education program. Saitoti would remain loyal to Kibaki even after he fell out with Raila Odinga. On recapturing his Kajiado North parliamentary seat in 2007 on a Party of National Unit ticket, Saitoti was appointed Minister for Internal Security and Provincial Administration. Between late 2010 and August 2011, he was appointed Minister for Foreign Affairs in an acting capacity after Moses Wetangula stepped down to allow for investigations into alleged corruption in the ministry. As chair of PNU in 2011, Saitoti announced his intention to succeed President Moi Kibaki in 2013. However, that was not to be, as on June 10, 2012, he was killed in a helicopter crash alongside his assistant minister, Orwa Ojode. Also killed were their bodyguards, Police Inspector Joshua Tonkei and Thomas Muremi, along with their pilots Nancy Gitwanja and Luke Yugi. For the cabinet, I'm Richard Monga.